Hello everyone, this is Christopher for One Tech Stop. Now, the popular YouTube application for Windows Phone 8 and Universal Windows 10 app, MyTube, got an update to version 2.5. It did fix the problem we were having with subscriptions uh, where it wouldn't display. And it is now happily working with some nice new features and we're going to take a look at those. Okay, first thing to note, perhaps we'll take a look on the, the Windows 10 version, uh, if we play a video. Now, MyTube always had in the background the video playing, but you'll notice now you've got the option here to go full screen and then back down and swipe in to the left and right while the video will keep playing. You do not get to see the video playing in the background. Now, this can be changed by in the settings, which we'll have a look at in a minute. You also now have the ability to cast your device. Uh, there we go, bringing it up. And it brings up anything you can cast it to. Right, now if we play the video in portrait and make it full screen, as you'll see, swiping left to right just scrubs the position that you're in. The video is playing from. Uh, if you do it in landscape, it's very much the same thing. Now, as I said, you can go into settings and just looking on the Windows 10 mobile and Windows Phone version, we'll play the same video. Now, in portrait mode, you can still go back and forth through the comments. But if you take it portrait, in portrait, no such luxury. So, as I said, we'll go into settings, uh, landscape browsing. Now, if you decide yes, then that means when you go back to watching your video in full screen, it goes very much the style it used to be. Uh, but by default, it seems settings have changed it, so you cannot browse through your various lists while in landscape. We'll take a look at that on Windows 10. We'll go to our settings. Now here you have to go down the bottom and playback location. You can switch between full screen and then that takes you back to what you're probably more f a more familiar way of playing. And that is also the case in portrait mode. Now you may remember on version 2.4 I believe it was whichever was the previous version that broke um, if you want to take your video full screen and get rid of this uh, and get rid of the taskbar you have to swipe down and you would have an option up here to take it into full screen now that usually took a couple of efforts I used to find so you can now make it large in the video and bring it up However, if we go back to if we go back to our settings and change it back to inline, going full screen automatically removes the taskbar, which is probably better. On, so I can see why they might want to make that default. Now the interface has also changed slightly on the video. Uh, you get this big minus button. Now you may wonder what that is. I was tempted to press it and it turns out that's the subscribe and unsubscribe button. Uh, you now have your options to save, add to and share down here. One really nice feature about MyTube is that the 
developer Christopher Blackman does let you know what's going on with this little section here and he puts polls up for example what you'd like to see when a video ends and you can vote on that and he also keeps you informed he tells us a bit about this latest 4.5 update uh, sorry 2.5 update uh, it fixes the subscription feed issue it adds casting playlist shuffling and much more now it is a free app in the windows phone store in the windows 10 store uh, with the option to uh, there are some limitations i believe on the free app uh, but you can pay to remove these but it's nothing which would particularly ruin your enjoyment so yeah that's a good recommendation if you've not really tried my tube and you're a big youtube fan take a look at it on the windows phone store Roken apps it also lets you save videos for offline viewing okay any questions or comments let us know in the comment section and thanks ever so much for watching. This is Chris for One Tech Stop. Take care.